what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're talking about jeepers creepers again in this video here again today now mostly lately really honestly there's nothing to talk about news wise about this franchise as we all know and it's probably going to be like that for the foreseeable future i have no hopes that we will get another project in the next year the next year or two the next five years or even the next decade i think this franchise is dead i think it's gone i think that all you'll get from me going forward is just random videos like this when i think of ideas to just share with you guys and hear what you think about them down in the comment section below now in this video i want to primarily talk about the idea of how Jeepers Creepers 2 could have opened differently and where I'm getting this idea of mine from is coming from the original plans that originally could have happened for Jeepers Creepers 2 involving the character of Trisha and Giselle being in the position of the Taggarts that we got played by Ray Wise and uh, I believe the other guys named Luke Edwards who plays Jack Jr. Now there's a rumor apparently out there that originally again trisha gina phillips was going to return along with patricia belcher to play their characters again and that was going to be them in the position of the taggers that we know we follow in the second one and they were going to be the ones helping these group of kids on the bus but what i mostly want to talk about is an opening sequence that could have been different from what we actually saw regarding billy and in the cornfield and that type of stuff and how we set up the avenging father angle for that movie so we know at the end of jeepers creepers Derry got taken away Giselle and Trisha don't seem to really wrap things up on the best of terms. Trisha kind of just storms off from her very upset, obviously, over what has happened because she feels as though Giselle could have done a lot more to help her save Derry. However, we don't know anything about how Trisha's life has been since that demise and how her parents responded because you can only imagine the questions her parents had, especially when they arrived to a station and the cops have to explain to them hey this thing broke in and took your son you know it, it flew off with him but we we tried to help but there's nothing we can do after it flew off that, that'd be like a big w2 wtf moment like what the hell do you mean something flew off with my son and how is your daughter supposed to rationalize this to you F furthermore who know who knows how much trisha even bothered to even tell them because wh why would they believe you they weren't here to experience it they might think you're crazy they might think the cops are crazy so much could have been like dismissed if trisha bothered to tell the truth i'm gonna go out on a limb and say that she tried to tell them the truth when she got home or during the drive home she's been very distraught she was trying to tell them what happened to Derry. they wouldn't listen to her they probably started thinking she was crazy they heard what the officers had to say and probably started thinking that the officers were crazy and they themselves were trying to figure out ways that they could go find Derry. I could see an angle happening where what if in the opening instead of having a cornfield incident occur we got to see an opening that picked up immediately after the events of that first movie with Trisha leaving her house deciding to go back to Poho County deciding to link up with Giselle and they make their way to the lair or the abandoned warehouse that we know we eventually see Derry at the end of that first movie. They stumble into the warehouse, they find Derry's Derry's body. They use the same Justin Long prop that they built for the ending of the first movie. We get to see them inspect the whole entire warehouse similar to how we got a chilling haunting sequence when Derry went down into that basement of the old church in the first movie we find all these different artifacts that belong to the creeper thus further establishing that this wasn't just a new warehouse that the creeper randomly found it's something that he's had as one of his layers for quite some time we could find so many different things that point to its origins inside of this along with the sister trisha unfortunately discovering what did happen to her brother and that is of course that Derry died as she probably was suspecting but in this opening she just gets to discover his body now here's where things get interesting not only does she get to discover his body but the creeper manages to make his way back to this lair while giselle and trisha are still inside of it and what they end up doing after recognizing that he is here or that it's here is they try to hide you know do the typical thing that any character would do to try to survive a situation like this while they're hiding the creeper is walking around and he starts sniffing starts sniffing he's, he knows somebody's here or it knows somebody is here it starts going around in all the different aspects of this warehouse it even knocks Derry's body to the ground trying to see if somebody might be hiding behind the body briefly nothing it can find but it knows somebody is here because it can smell it the same way it smells something that it liked about Derry when it went back to the church ultimately it finds trisha and giselle hiding inside of the warehouse they all have this big chase sequence that can go down but trisha makes it out 
Giselle does not. Giselle ultimately ends up dying because she is somebody who would have, she is somebody who just like Trisha, which is why he would be after her or it would be after her. The creeper we know does not want people finding out anything about it. It wants to say, stay under the radar. It wants to stay low profile. So with Giselle and Trisha in this warehouse, they just have to be people who die. We know that the creeper didn't want anything from Giselle in the original movie, but because you now stumbled upon his warehouse, you are a threat to his secrecy or its secrecy. <laughs> and so it decides to take Giselle out the same way it tried to take Trisha out, but Trisha manages to escape the warehouse. And this is how we end up in the scenario of which we can now have a movie play out where the creeper will try to track down Trisha just to simply kill her because it knows about one of its layers, one of its many locations, just like how it had to deal with them in the first movie and burn down its old location. It's going to come take care of you now, even more so just because of the fact that you are a danger to its low profile, its secrecy. But then this is where the, the kids on the bus come into play. That can become a distraction that's in the mix. Ver instead of deciding to go after Trisha, the kids on the bus become a distraction for the creeper because while Trisha is able to get away, the creeper manages or the creeper stumbles upon a, a, a school bus of kids who are coming on from that championship basketball game. And that's where they come into the mix. And now, now instead of going after somebody just for a kill, the creeper, of course, has found a new snack for the night. This is where Trisha, already knowing that the creeper will be after her has set up in her mind she's gonna go after it before it comes after her so she decides to track the creeper down she's in the position now of jack taggart senior she stumbles upon this school of kids on the bus and this is where they would have their final battle before the creeper goes back into its hibernation for 23 years this would be my alternative of how jeepers creepers 2 would have played out i know mostly i was talking about about the opening in this in this video you guys can let me know what you think about it in the comment section below do you like that opening idea do you not like that opening idea i know many of us probably me too say i would prefer to keep the chilling suspenseful cornfield sequence that we got but an opening that picked up immediately after the ending of the first movie and reunited us with trisha and let her discover Derry's dead body in that warehouse seeing her reunite with giselle and seeing giselle die in the opening and having that bridge into the kids on the bus i wouldn't mind that let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.